we're back. Ignite your purpose. It's JB, Moss, Mossimo. He's in Hawaii. Woo. Hawaii, man. Living that dream. I'm going to show you the, uh, the blue sky in a moment, but this is episode 186, 186 of our We Show. We've been a bit on, been a bit off. We've not been living up to our, our end of the deal to be delivering each and every day, but we are nothing but honest. Life life just rolls by, and sometimes we're busy, and sometimes uh, uh, we, just can't, we just can't get to the machines. We can't hook up at the same time. Seven hours time difference is now 10 hours time difference, but I think, as always, I'll let Moss do... Um, I'll let him tell you, me, remind us who we are, what we do, what we're about, what the aim is. Um, here we go, Max, Blue Skies, talk, talk to us, mate. It is beautiful people down here on a healing retreat. As always, I do this twice a year for myself. We are Ignite Your Purpose. We don't just speak and talk shit. It is real life for myself and for John. This is what we do. This is how we do. And it is... What is Ignite Your Purpose, John? What is their exact definition? It is a mix of the mental, physical, and spiritual knowledge. It is the mind-body-soul trifecta. It is negative to positive, and it is longevity. It is not an overnight success story. Uh, in its simplest forms, people were trying to go balls to the wall till we are on our last breath, uh, not stopping at 50 or, 50 or 60, and taking oxygen and pills. Till then we die. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you want to talk about today, John? I know John's got a little topic. Uh, I'll, one yeah. that's always near and dear to our heart. So uh, let's let's get at it. Let's pitter patter. Let's get at I it. think ultimately it's always <laughs> negative to positive. How can we be everything we do? How can we just try and stay conscious enough to be that little bit better today than we were yesterday, and then tomorrow better again than we, than we were today? So true. It's not each and every day. We're not going to hit it every day, but with that intention, with the intention to be better and to raise up to those levels and to, to continue growing and being better, that's what we're all about. Today's subject, I've written down for life. Big words, man. Doing something for life. And this comes up because I've heard quite a few times well it's almost two subjects today i might come back to the other one but it's i'm going to lose the weight for this holiday i'm going to lose the weight for this wedding or for this uh, whatever it might be the goal or i'm just going to get fit to achieve this this next event i've got this 5k run or this half marathon um <laughs> And that in and of itself is great. That excuse me, scratch my ear. That people are they're setting these wee goals, but they always come back with. And if I lose the weight, then I can go on holiday and I can just kick the ass out of it. Or they each and every day they go to work and they go to the gym to justify going on the lash at the weekend. It's always these kind of kind of a short term sacrifice and deprivation of something you. Yeah, I don't enjoy going to the gym, but I'm going to do it because then I can justify going out in the lash. Or I'm going to not have Mars bars and chips for a month because then I can go all in on whatever it is rather than thinking, why don't I just do something to make myself feel better for life? To be more cognitive, to be more energetic, to have more vibrancy in your life for for yourself and for those people around you. And I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it over and over again. And that ties in with, I'm going to start in the new year on the resolution. That's almost a different topic, but we, I think we'll come back to that at the end. Why wait? Uh, Max, have you, have you got anything to say on, on this wee subject? Um, again, this is, are you, just before we start, are you, are you, are you just having a week on the island? getting healthy and getting grounded and and healing just even kick the ass out of it when you get back home or is it part that, of your life journey no no I, I spend all this money to come down here and and hang with these healers and, and take in all this knowledge just so i can go home and yeah uh, hit every fast food store i can find and every uh gas station burger i can eat mm. yeah that's that's the plan right 
Um, awesome. Not at all. Uh, yeah, three weeks, three weeks to a month, and it is. Uh, you know, some people look at it as vacation. I, I look at it as education. I'm, you know, day one, I could show you my back. I'm just covered. I'm, I'm already uh, hanging with some people that would do, uh, you know, from a Thai background that are, are teaching me their ways. And it's, it's full on for me. But how I'll tie this back in is, um, again, one of the healers I'm with right now, who is on the island uh, for, I don't know how many years he's been here, but he's an amazing man, old timer. I'm, I'm going to say he's in his 70s or 80s. And she just worked me over. And I'm actually going to see him again tomorrow. Um, he said to me, uh, we, we talk about CrossFit. And I am a firm, firm, firm believer in the, um, the science behind CrossFit. And I'm a firm believer in the science behind some of the things I do, like, like Krav. Having said that, I believe that there is watered down. And I also believe that there is also a money-making and a business side of things, right? So what I want to talk about is if we're going to talk about longevity, what he said to me was, he said, I see so many of you CrossFitters, he said, who are, who look like Spartan gods, but you guys are absolutely unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, and it's the truth, right? Because everybody wants to be bigger, badder, meaner, faster, which is awesome. But part of that is also something we, uh, what John is talking about is, you know, we do the things we're good at. We never do the things we're not good at. And with CrossFit, you must work on flexibility. You must work on learning the proper techniques, the proper execution. And all this takes time. Losing weight takes time. Getting fit takes time. Getting mentally healthy takes time. And if we're looking at something for the short-term gain, you are definitely doing yourself a disservice. There is definitely going to either be injuries, there's going to be shortcuts, and or you're going to fall off the wagon because yeah. within two or three weeks, like you said, when you've maybe lost that three pounds that you're looking for, which is, you know, a drop in the hat, right? You're going to fall back off and you'll probably gain another five back. So one thing I think we need to do if we're talking long haul is, and that is the foundation for a better fulfilled life, right? Is we need to look into our fears. We need to go into the places that are uncomfortable for us and that we don't want to go to, you know, okay. Yeah. Maybe I don't like to, you know, whatever it may be, get up at four 30 to go train like John or something like that. You know what? I'm just doing it because it has to be done and I'm going to be better for it. And John knows as well as I do that once four 30 rolls around and then you're done by six, you feel friggin' amazing. Yeah. It's just the mental state that you are. It's just your, whatever that part of the mind is, that's it's eluding me right now. That's going, I don't want to do this at four 30, but yet once you start, it's night and day, Johnny. Dude, I've got um, one sec. First of all, can you have a word with the, uh, with the birds of paradise in the background? They are oh squawking God, away like a, a dodgy, uh, a dodgy tambourine, tambour, no, trampoline. And you know what? I said to them, I said <laughs> to them, John, I said, hey, listen, listen, guys, listen, birds. I said, we're Ignite Your Purpose. We're doing a show. Can you shut up? Yeah. And obviously, they just didn't listen to me, so. Absolutely not. And, and the thing is, you're in their backyard, my friends. So uh, you they go, hanging out in your you, house. Right? You can have words, but... Uh, a couple, couple of things. Um, it's interesting because I was a friend of mine owns a CrossFit gym, and he said the whole CrossFit business and industry they are completely changing the, the whole setup, and they're going way more to health, and they're stepping back yeah. a little bit from the CrossFit games, the competition. Uh, they make it a little bit more about that Joe average and making. The majority of people, people fitter and stronger and healthier, rather than focusing on that one percent who are, you know, just incredible. But um, I, I, I thought it was really interesting that, um, yeah, that well, may, maybe the whole the globe is going more towards health and longevity and wellness rather than uh, just trying to make a few bucks out of things. Um, Very true. Uh, man, the birds, the birds. What you were saying about when I get training in the morning at 4.30, I get up at 4.30, I start at 5 or 5.30, depending on if I've got to drive to the, the pool. And sometimes I really don't feel like doing it, but I get myself up because I know there is a long-term goal to be had. And once I get on the bike or get out running or I'm in the pool, and I give myself 15 minutes, and if, I, if I'm really not feeling it, I don't destroy myself. Um, I get out of the pool, I'll go for do whatever, but nine times out of ten or 20 times out of 25, once I've got in the water, once I've started doing it, 
I start to enjoy it. Then I've remembered about the, the, the goal, the aim to, to reach this championship level or to, or to do a race under five hours or whatever it might be. And then, and then you forget you don't want to do it. And then you just zone in on the event. You think about the goal. You think about, you just, you get in the game. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it as deprivation. Ah, deprivation. That's what I was going to talk about before. Nice. So one, well, I just, did you like that little segue there by accident? I did. Um, that was perfect. So one individual I was speaking with was saying how they were going to go without this and go without this and go without this and go without this so they can, I can't remember if it was a fitness goal or whether, it, probably a weight goal um, for six or eight weeks. So they're going to go without this stuff. They're going to think about the deprivation, I can't have it, I want it. Man, what a really freaking, tricky headspace that to be living in for six or eight weeks. I've got to exercise and I don't want it, I don't want to. I've got to go without all this stuff and I want it. You just set yourself up for complete and utter destruction when you get to that other end. And then you're going to reward yourself for that very thing you've been depriving yourself of. It's, it's absolute yeah. insanity. So... I agree. I agree. Get yeah, that mental image of where you want to be. I want to run that 10K in this time. I want to look like this supermodel or look like this person off television or be able to pick the kids up and run around the house three times or whatever it is. Get that, med- that mental positive in your head. Think about all the positive, how good you're going to feel, how all of these things rather than what you're going to be going without with and what you can't have. Um, and think of it like that way. Do it that mental image and think about all the positives and all the pluses rather than all the negatives because we're professionals about thinking about what's bad or what we can't do or what's shit. Um, so maybe, maybe that's one way to... Uh, Max? Uh, no, I, I totally agree. And, you know... People always think, okay, how do I add or how do I subtract it? Because I don't know, maybe it's from schooling, you know, depend or, or working a nine to five, how much money, how much will I get for this? And it's an input output thing. Um, I think we have to just start thinking about the simplest form of things. Like it shouldn't be so difficult all the time. Okay, man. Um, I, I don't, uh, John just hit it on the head. You know what? I, I don't feel like, I don't feel I have the energy today to do this. Okay, cool. So maybe you're not going to, deadlift 450 pounds over your head 130 times Mm -hmm. maybe instead i'm going to go for a walk around the block it's it's that simple you're still doing something you're still you're still moving the body you're you're not hurting the body you're not straining the body you're just moving it you're and then it comes to the talk john where we talk about eating do you need to take away do you need to add or do you just need to eat clean and smart and that in itself is a whole conversation that we all need to have what does eating smart mean um and healthy but it's simple it's it, we shouldn't overcomplicate it like john's saying and and to yeah. have a short-term goal is great but we definitely need to stretch things out no different than business goals no different than life goals it's it shouldn't be something okay i want to make five thousand dollars uh by thursday oh, okay well then that then what well okay how do I change the world after that? You know, like let's make these goals massive. Let's make them long. Let's yeah. make them strong. We're here to live once and live well. Yeah. Yeah, man. These, um, when, when we talk about these goals, we, we limit our possibilities because we have belief systems drilled in from when we were children, from what our parents said, from what the school system said, from what the government said. These are all these belief systems. And and all I will say is the thoughts that you have in your head are the most important part. They're the fundamental driver of the future of your life. Because what we think we can achieve. Um, And if we start, if we think on on the negative and on the empty, that is what we will get in droves. But if we think in the positive, we just really put these thoughts out there. And that creates the thought, it creates the emotions, it creates the chemicals, it creates the action. And once we can start to deliver on the positive belief system and the I can, and the, and the really, really seeing your future, then that's when you can start 
to step towards it. You get surrounded by people of a similar mindset that we're all energy and our energy level lifts up and that's the beginning of uh, betterness. betterness. Is that a word? Betterness? Being better? I think so, you just... I just made it up. New word. Like it. New word. So, I love it. I might give that one to Donald and, Trump. That sounds like something he'd, uh, he'd say. But, um, <laughs> but we're, we're back. It's been a while. So it's going to be the, uh, the the three of us or the five of us for a while. It's going to be Moth, myself, and the the Birds of Paradise in the background. Um, the <laughs> quality, right. I don't know how good it is my end. But Max is a little bit in and out fuzziness, but we will give him that because he is in uh, Hawaii on an island 10 hours away from me. So let's just think how, uh, how blessed we are to have this, uh, this system uh, to talk. That's the truth. So, um, so that, that's all from me. I'm going to pop you over to Max. He's going to say goodbye. He's going to leave you with some words of wisdom. Or maybe he's not. Maybe Max is gone. That's the show. We're just about done. That was 186. I'm JB, Healthy Funky Free. Moss over there. He's the Positive Vibes Lifestyle Movement. Together, we are Ignite Your Purpose. Uh, negative to positive each and every day. Uh, hit us up. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening over on Anchor and on iTunes and uh, any reviews you can give or any likes or thumbs up or anything like that. Most of, most of all, the most important part is if you could hit us up, send us a message and let's get the conversation going uh, a little bit wider and further afield than just Max and myself. So uh, we will see you on the, uh, the next episode. So take care. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.